Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, I'm going to show you how to design this uh, abstract flower made by Rafael Araujo. First step, I'm going to swap it to stroke. So I'm the stroke, select black color. I'm going to select the rectangle from here. Press and hold shift plus alt, create a rectangle. Uh, now I'm going to select the ellipse tool. And I'm gonna go here where's the intersection point, go down all the way where they intersect here, press and hold shift plus alt, create a circle, go all the way up. Here at this corner, where's the anchor point and try to put it right there. Now I'm gonna create a new copy of the rectangle, press and hold shift and drag it right here until they intersect and I'm gonna scale it down. Press and hold shift and I'm gonna scale it down until the Circle ends right here at the intersection point. I'm gonna bring it up right here. I'm gonna delete the circle. I'm gonna press and hold Alt, drag it down, and press and hold Shift, scale it down until it fits here. And do the same thing over and over. I'm gonna scale it this way. So this is the construction of the golden ratio. Now we're gonna create the circles in the golden ratio. I'm gonna select the circle. I'm gonna go down here at the anchor point, press and hold shift plus alt, create a large circle like that. And I'm gonna select direct selection tool. I'm gonna delete this right anchor point at the bottom anchor point. And now we're left with this part of the circle. Select it, press and hold alt, drag it to the right until say they intersect at the end. Press and hold shift, scale it down until it fits in the square. Press and hold shift, rotate it. Good. Now we have the construction. I'm going to select the circle. I'm going to go down here at this anchor point. I'm going to press and hold shift plus alt, scale it up and create another circle. I'm going to right click on the circle, arrange, send it back. And now I'm going to delete these uh, squares. Okay, I'm going to select the direct selection tool. I'm going to select here. So basically these are uh, separated, you know. And we're going to need to connect these. So I'm going to select the direct selection tool, select these anchor points, these two anchor points and click here up, connect selected and points. So now they are like connected. Do the same thing with the rest. Okay, so we're going to need to connect. Um, so we got like this line here. And we're going to need to connect this with this. So I can right click, group, double click, so we got highlighted these two. I'm gonna select the direct selection tool, select both and do the same thing. Connect. Okay, I'm gonna select both. Right click group. Now I'm gonna go to the effects. This trend transform, transform. Let's see, I'm gonna type in two copies. The angle gonna be like 120. And I'm gonna bring the horizontal in. So they're gonna cross each other. And I'm gonna bring down the vertical. So for me, for this di uh, dimension, we got the width and height here, 250 by 250. For me, the numbers are 58 by minus 39. I'm gonna click OK. So I'm gonna zoom in and as you can see, they're not 100% connected. Still need to connect them. So I'm gonna go to the appearance, go to transform. And let me see if I go down from 39 to minus 40, it's gonna be a huge jump. So I'm gonna go 39 point, actually one. There you go, this is it, 39.1, click OK. I'm gonna try with this, uh, I'm gonna select it, go to object, expand appearance, sh press shift plus M, or you can go to select shape builder tool. And now I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna connect it like this. I'm gonna go with the rest. Good. I can right click on group, right click on group. Let me see this like on group perfectly. There you go. I can press and hold shift, select all one by one, all three shapes, remove it. And as you can see, you got like unnecessary lines. Now I'm going to swap it for here from stroke to fill. And I'm going to go to the gradient, add the radial gradient. And you can mess, mess around with this. You know, you can swap it and test it out, you know. And this is how you make this beautiful abstract shape using golden ratio made by Rafael Araujo. 
Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.